Hey everybody, it's Gabe from the Order of the Traveling Hats. Uh, we got more Jeep parts. So today, uh, I'm gonna install my toenail cover on the back of the Gladiator here. Now I'm not gonna make this like an install video. There are tons of those online already. Kind of what I had in mind is, we're gonna take a look at it, see what it looks like before you put it on, and I'm just gonna do a real-time, uncut, putting this thing on. Uh, so you can get an idea of what somebody that doesn't do this all the time or works at CJ Pony Parts or somewhere like that uh, Actually does putting this thing on so let's get to it I'm excited to get the bed covered up and I think it's gonna look great All right, well, let's take a look what you get in the package. So we've got uh, one bed rail the the cover itself You've got some really good instructions uh, they really lay it out nice and plus there's some pretty solid videos online it's super easy looks like you've got the two front brackets with the uh, bolts for those and you've got the two rear brackets and you've got the allen wrench that you need and of course the other side so uh, we've got the knife out here because we've got to cut this little section right here out to get to the uh, uh, Place where we can screw in that front mount um, but that should be pretty easy hopefully anyway we're about to find out all right i'm going to get all set up and we're going to start the uh, real-time installation of this thing all right here we go all right guys here we go i'm going to uh get the gopro set up here so we can film I'm cutting this little piece out and see how that goes Thinking we are just going to need to kind of score it a little bit. Just a little bit more, but we're getting it. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That's pretty easy. And here's our uh, receptacles for the the bolts for the front mount. We'll just do that other side real quick. Not too bad. Alright, so it looks like line these guys up with edge here. Up. 
that's really, really kind of the, the main part of it here. Just getting that all lined up. Let's get some of this out of the way. It's kind of even so that the back of it will seal on the tailgate. And then make sure this is lined up. And that's it. We'll just pull the back side off. So don't feel like you have to leave that on and, and mess with it. You can go ahead and pull that off and, and still get it into position. It's not, uh, it's not sticking back and I was kind of afraid of that. so that you can get it positioned like you really need it. Okay. All right, let me give you kind of a, a close up here for what I'm talking about with the end of this, lining up with the end of the tailgate. And you can kind of see it follows the curvature of the, the bed right here. Okay, let's, uh, let's put some clamps on. Now you're going to see me try to crawl up in this bed. It ain't going to be great. And also notice, I haven't really looked at the instructions. It's super, it's super straightforward. Take one look at the instructions. I'm pretty sure it goes all the way back there inside that groove. So here's the uh, first thing uh, that I've come across that's a little interesting. You get this Allen key, right? Well, this just uses a socket, right, for this clamp. And this is the only other thing that you would ever use this Allen key for, right? Supposed to do? Maybe it lets you adjust something somewhere. I don't know. 
No, I think it lets you, I see what it is. It lets you adjust the tension on it back here. That's what it is. Okay, well, let's let's go get some tool. That's just how it is. I'm gonna grab my Allen keys and we'll get this uh, get this on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Real time. So you need a four millimeter Allen wrench. And let's just go ahead and get the uh, get the socket. Okay, so you need a thirteen millimeter socket and a four millimeter Allen wrench to install it. That's not too bad. Get set up. here so you want to kind of run your bolt in first if you've got a tap and die set you can clean the paint out with that but you can also run this in it goes in pretty easy it's not that bad just clean out the paint a little bit Leave that just a little bit loose. Come back here and install this clamp. Now these guys look a little tricky, but they're not really that bad. Just kind of put this a uh, reasonable distance back, like six inches or so, like that, and it just. to work with or without the uh, bed rail system. I, I do not have the bed rail system, so I'm just clamping it right to the bed uh, with no issues. So there's like two little notches here. I'm using the second notch. 
this one needs a little more room. actually putting the, the toenail cover on. Try to get a good shot of how this guy, you can see how it's got this little ridge here and it just Slides in and runs the finger and then bolts on. Trying to get the bolt started in here with this paint and uh, all this humidity. But I mean, that's really it for the install. Let's uh, get the actual cover and get it on there. So it's got a very obvious kind of way it hooks in here. And you can see where the, the weather ceiling is. And there's no real mistake on which way it goes. Just kind of slide along here if you're not by yourself like I am. It's not that difficult. And here you can see how it goes in. It's just got another little lip that's shaped just like the just like the top. Looks like maybe this goes in like that. And bam, that's it. And then you've got to kind of come in along here and snug these down. came out over there. That's it. First time that that shouldn't happen.
take a little pressure off the back of it here. Make sure it's clicked in. So the back of it has a uh, little bars that look like they click in so that it doesn't come up. And I don't think I got it in on this side. So that's kind of what's happening here. So we're all in in business now. I'm going to move this thing here and see, see how it lines up with the tailgate. I think that's about it. I think I'm going to scoot it back just a little bit. I don't like how it's uh, just barely touching, barely touching the tailgate here. But you just come along. It's got really nice, easy to manipulate velcro on the sides here. That's it. Let's uh, let's adjust it a little bit. See if it's loose enough. Nope. Alright, so we're going to have to loosen the clamps up just a little bit and slide it. See how easy it is to roll? There you go. Super easy. Alright. Loosen these guys up. Uh, that one's still clamped down pretty good. Okay, that's good. The back is still well on the back of the bed. Just a little, a little more room here. Okay. I think that's probably more like where we want it. Let's get this side. Sucker tighten down again. Collar good. 
It unlikes it and rolls up really easily. These nice little support bars in between are really good. They fit right in the groove of the, of the rails here and uh, make it really easy to keep it straight and up off your stuff and back to your bed. Everything's tight. Toenail cover install. Well, I'm calling it install right now. So we'll see at the end of the video how long that actually took, but I don't feel like it took very long. I didn't really look at the instructions. I'd watched a couple of videos, but it's it's two clamps per side and you just line it up with the front and the back and it rolls right out. Uh, honestly, it could be easier. It looks great. It fits great. Now I can keep my bed uh, dry dust free probably mostly it doesn't completely seal up in the front uh, you know as it comes off of this plastic onto the uh, bare bed there's a gap there so i expect there'll be a little bit of dust but uh, not much water will keep out for sure it's the same as my sunrider top the black twill material that's it well toenail cover installed all right so just got back from the test drive everything went perfectly no noise no anything the uh the cover is unruffled and still exactly where it was when i took off as you would expect uh best stop makes great stuff and this seems to be no exception i think this is going to serve me well keep the little latches the pull latches on the inside so nobody can get to it and since your tailgate locks it's super easy well that's it. I'd say I'd call that a uh, difficulty scale of maybe one and a half on a scale of one to ten on how hard something is to install. Uh, no issues. I watched a video or two online, kind of perused the instructions, but you know it wasn't really something you needed to to study. 
uh, it went right on. You're gonna, you saw it uh, as it happened. Uh, I, I didn't cut anything. I didn't edit anything. That's that's the install. So I think this is gonna wrap it up. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, give us a like if you like the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow it, and every subscription helps. Uh, leave us a comment. Uh, if you've got any questions about uh, the Sunrider or if you've got any questions about the new toenail cover or, or anything else and, and we will answer your your questions in the comments. So once again Thanks for watching uh, This has been Gabe from the order of traveling hats and I hope we see you out there